Easy Tigers. Hope everyone's fine and dandy. Just going to get straight into this one. It's a what is Star Force and Star Cities in under five minutes. First things first, I want to clear something up. They say bastion walls were invented for impact of cannons, but cannons weren't around until the 13th century. This star fort was around 4,000 years ago, so that squashes that. So let's just start there. It was not designed for impact of cannons. Now, list of bastion forts. Let me show you how many there are. There is a tremendous amount of fortifications or star forts or star cities or whatever you want to call them all around the world. All around the world they've all been dismantled and taken apart some are still there and we're still finding some now in the Amazon in Africa and stuff like that but just scrolling through this is what's been recorded so far on Wikipedia. so there is a tremendous amount all over the world now let me just tell you another little thing about these star forts and star cities they are in the shape of frequency patterns cymatic patterns don't know if they're generating or harvesting energy from the water or the earth. It's doing one or the other, but this is what we're here trying to work out. Let me just show you some clues. So inside these places, you'll have cities, towns, cathedrals, people living. It'll be underground. I mean, look at this. Look at this compared to these pictures. You know? But I digress. There's nothing to do with war. Okay, they were frequency patterns. Now, I spent a lot of time in Malta. Well, two years in Malta. And this is where I've become awake of these star cities. I've done a lot of stuff underground in these, so you can look at my channel and have a look at all the stuff underground. They are megalithic. They are megalithic. Older, as old as Baalbek, and I've got it all recorded. Check my videos out. But here you can see, this is what I'm just showing you. If you pick a town or a city, an old city, and it would have been a star fort or a star city, prove me wrong, please. I urge you to go and do your own research. Everywhere. Frequency patterns everywhere. Okay, and I actually lived here. Right there. So I lived in the star fort for two years. And I managed to get inside it and go underground at least four levels. So anyway, like I said, quick crash course. They're on ley lines, they're on energy spots. They're generating energy from either water or they're doing something with water or they're generating energy from the earth. They're not in history books, they've been taken out. For some reason, I don't know why. And we've used them as faults for war. Now, let me just give you an example. This is Amsterdam. Now this is Amsterdam now, gone. You get me? Finished. All there is, is a silhouette of the wall, or should I say, bastion wall. But it ain't a bastion, is it? It was a frequency pattern. And another thing, if you wanna do some research, all you have to do, this is why you know they're connected to water, because you just have to follow a river and you'll find them. Look, two. I found two already on this river. But all these little towns were probably star forts and star cities. They've just been basically through war, pandemics and stuff like that. They've all been smashed up. And you wouldn't even know what you're walking around unless you did an aerial view of these things. Because they're so big. Because it will seem like you're just standing next to a ginormous wall that's about 100 foot tall. Or 150 foot tall. Let me just take it to my quickly. Boom. Look at these walls in the background, they're going up three, four, five stories high. Yeah? You wouldn't even know that that's the shape of a star or a frequency pattern. You wouldn't have a clue. You'd just be walking around it thinking it's a ginormous wall. That's it. That is it. So the questions I'm asking and everyone else is, who built these? Where did they get the knowledge from? Why are they put on certain spots? Why is there nothing in the history books? And why does it say they're real built in the 17th and 18th centuries when We've seen maps from the 1300s and you can go on Google Wikipedia and it'll tell you that some of them are 4,000 years old. It just don't make no sense. So we just need to do our own research. So that was Star Forks in five minutes. Do me one more favor and Google this number and it will no longer be a conspiracy. In fact, there you go. There's a bit of it there for you. I've done half of it, do the rest yourself. And one other thing, this was quite interesting. I'll let you laugh at that. And one other thing to prove this whole world is a complete lie. 104 years ago, charging electric cars.